we're gonna get a little like meta right now um so like there's a couple things that a person has to consider before starting a channel and these are a couple things that I didn't really think about and one of those is what am I struggling with what would help me as a viewer in that same regard the, the nugget that actually is makes a difference I think is trying to figure out what what I am struggling with what I discovered is what I'm struggling with the most as a writer is not the fact that I am not published but the fact that it's so easy for me to not complete works writing works um, and what I mean by completion is having written it having like completed a first draft having someone a couple people read it and share their thoughts and edits me going back and making the revisions and edits sorry I have the hiccups that I would want to make that I think are like valid points and and whatnot and then having it sent and then sending that version out again to the same people but also um you know a couple like a wider like the like beta reader that's that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking about as far as like a completed work like there's just so much that I have to unpack and I I'm hoping to unpack a lot of these little sub thoughts that keep piling up in my mind um, the fact that I'm not published doesn't frustrate me or upset me nearly as much as the fact that I don't always follow through I want to focus on a couple things first I want first and probably primarily I, I want to focus on returning to oh now you can probably actually hear me I forgot the heater was on it I want to focus on primarily on returning to the writing wilds I like that term because it does give the image of wandering through a forest stumbling upon mysterious figures in the forest and strangers and magical creatures I've lost that over the years it's so easy to just start absorbing all of the different voices in the writing world and community reading writing articles and even just comparing yourself to people to writing peers and friends who whose work or discipline or both you desire and just everything can just start to just it becomes a mind game many times before sitting down to write I I just feel like I'm filtering things as soon as I open the page and start wanting to write I can just kind of start hearing myself filtering what it is I actually want to write and it can get to the point where sometimes where I'm like well what do I what do I actually want to write and like that realization that realizing the realization <laughs> that I don't always necessarily know what I want to write was extremely eye-opening and really kind of sad too the fact that I've I've let myself get that far in how I perceive my writing and how I live my writing world um, live my writing life and just how comparison and the the publishing idea um, I don't want to get into that map the opposite mentality that like somehow being published is like oh you're pretentious and you're you're a highfalutin writer and like you're better than the rest like that is an easy mentality to get into and I've I've found myself like starting to like flirt with that mentality like ugh, they're they're published they think they're better than me and all other unpublished writers and honestly part of that 
has been influenced by Stephen King. Just, just I've read on writing a book he wrote about writing, and I've seen him in a couple interviews, and he's a very confident writer, and you can tell he doesn't want to give advice. You can tell he knows that it's not going to do other writers any good. Like, he's confident enough in himself and and his... what he's bringing to the world that he doesn't have this cloud of thinking about, will this, will my work get published? Will I need to change this? Will they like this way that I'm writing this? Like, he, I don't know how he became, uh, how he, if he ever struggled with that, but that's a struggle that I know that I have, as though it's something you just have to, you just have to sit down every day and do it. And I know there is something to that, but it's only one element of a bigger picture. That's kind of just where I'll leave this. This is, it's a lot to just unpack, and I want to make sure that this channel doesn't become advice-ridden. I don't want to be giving advice. I don't want to be giving tips and tricks. I just want to share my journey. I want to encourage myself and, in turn, you, hopefully, to, to give you encouragement and permission to return to those writing wilds. For me, that means becoming a sort of wayward writer in, in the opinion of my inner critic, my inner agent, my perceived readership, like all of those imaginations that keep me from those writing wilds, all of those imaginations, I have to become, in my own eyes, a sort of wayward writer in order to return to those, those writing wilds, in order to return to the writing that I want to write, I want to share, and then two, I just want to encourage myself and hopefully you to focus less on publication than on completion. Because at the end of the day, I feel as though it is, it's worth much more to yourself and to the world to have completed works that are unpublished than to have, let's say, one published story and a whole slew of unfinished work. And that's me right now. That's me. So that's the, that's the goal here um, at Wayward Writer, is returning to the writing wilds and completing more works.